I was very pleased to hear that AUC has established an astronomy minor. Uh, I was very uh, glad to write some time ago to try to offer my support for this program at AUC, so it's, it's wonderful to hear that it's in place. Uh, astronomy is the oldest science. It has its origins in places like Egypt, where fundamental early measurements, mostly done uh, at uh, the earliest stages of the last millennium, uh, were carried out. And now that astronomy has become such a major part of physics and natural science overall, where we're exploring fundamental physics questions that affect our very understanding of the origin of the universe, it's very uh, appropriate that Egypt is uh, making steps to play a bigger role in incorporating astronomy into education of students in Egypt. The astronomy minor can do just that, so that's very uh, encouraging to hear that this has been set up. The uh, minor offers students to not only learn basic fundamental concepts of how the universe is built, and how uh, natural science, uh, how physics, which was originally derived from astronomy, uh, can be understood. But the minor will enable students uh, to go out and actually do some practical uh, either observation or measurements and understand for themselves a bit about how we can infer the laws of the universe from actual data. We have a program here at Harvard that uh, we've just shown you in the previous video of digitizing, making digital images of the full sky over the last 100 years. <coughs> this is our DASH project, Digital Access to a Sky Century at Harvard, and it offers a unique window on the history of stars. Now stars are very long-lived objects. They live for millions, billions of years. So why is a hundred years of history of the stars interesting? Well, it is because we can measure phenomena that occur on timescales so long or on timescales that are so infrequent that we've never measured them before. And in fact, uh, we have made discoveries in the very early days of this digitization project, early meaning we've now scanned about 30,000 plates. We have another 470,000 to go, 500,000 or a half million plates here at Harvard, the world's largest collection. So we're already making discoveries that show, once again, if you don't look, you won't find, right? Uh, and nobody has looked at the sky on a hundred year time scales. We see stars changing in brightness that we never knew should change in brightness that we thought we understood. As I was just explaining to Allah, we have discovered a new type of nova that might unlock some of the secrets for how a very special kind of supernova, uh, called a supernova 1A, which you could learn about in your astronomy minor, how that operates and what it comes from. This has been a big question in astronomy because the supernova 1As are fundamental to our measurement of the universe on the largest scales. It was supernova 1As that led to the discovery of dark energy and won this year's Nobel Prize in physics. So fundamental stuff. And uh, we are now initiating, or hope to initiate, a program where uh, a few AUC students can come each year to Harvard. We'd like to have 20, but we can't manage that many, so maybe two, uh, and work with us on the DASH project help us digitizing the plates and do some science while they're here as well. So this, uh, this is a wonderful um, bit of timing that uh, this program could be initiated while the astronomy minor at AUC itself is getting off the ground. So we look forward to seeing you here. Welcome to Harvard.